my tour guide in Qatar. She's gonna show me around, and we're gonna talk about the soccer world cup. She's gonna give me all the information, all the rules, and everything for this FIFA 2022. Right here we have the countdown, the clock, to show you how many days, how many hours and how many minutes we have until FIFA 2022. Well, I'm here with Mariela. Mariela is uh, my tour guide and she's gonna talk a little bit about uh, how Qatar is getting ready for this World Cup 2022. Yes, well, it's been a huge task for the country. So, um, the stadium are ready. We have an eight stadium for the eight World Cup. Stadium, great. So, seven of them brand new stadiums. So one of them is actually is gonna be a dismantle after the World Cup. It's made of a cheap containers, shipping containers. So uh, it's like a recyclable exactly. It will be. Right. It will be. Exactly. Most of the stadium when they finish the workout they're gonna make it smaller. Okay? So they don't end up with a huge stadium that are the one user. Alright? Apart from the stadium, which you are already ready all of them have been having game matches already we have a huge development construction in terms of new roads hotels hotel more than nothing how how the hotel how much is one night in a hotel here in Doha? well for the work up for the work up yeah course. that's a big difference yes yeah, so it means the prices have been it's quite high probably it's going to be one of the most expensive workshop like like around what is so the would say at least one thousand american dollars one thousand dollars for one night during the world Cup. at least <laughs> okay so it look like not everybody can come here to during the world cup it's a little a little expensive also we have a like farm village so the farm village is more affordable and uh, there's going to be more like a, a compound style village with a lot of bedrooms or small apartments. And you share the bathroom or, or yeah, it's like, okay. exactly. it could be. Yeah, so not, that one is a little more cheaper. Yeah, it would be. But in the, uh, 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 still, it's going to be around 100 dollars per night per person okay that's a little more affordable 100 dollar per person per night that's a, a little more uh, better for for some people so tell me a little bit about the regulations with the alcohol and how to dress here in, okay. in qatar so how is gonna be yes that? well look uh, Qatar is a Muslim country, so um, alcohol is not part of, of the culture, uh, of the religions as well. So, but hospitality it is. So, alcohol, you can drink alcohol here, but not everywhere, that's the point. So, more, usually the only place you can drink alcohol is in a five-star hotels. Okay. So just on the five star hotel is where you can drink alcohol mm -hmm. and you cannot drink in public. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean uh, in a bar it's all okay, but you cannot be like, a, not drink in public, you cannot be drunk in public as well. Uh, for the World Cup we're going to have like fan fest or fan zone is called and some of them going to be, they're going to sell alcohol. Sure. So okay. we had to go to the fan zone to yeah. drink some alcohol. Exactly. Okay. And then just today, the FIFA announced that uh, alcohol in this particular area in the stadium, let's say up to around the stadium, before the game, after the game, they're gonna have, they're gonna sell alcohol. Okay. okay. So they're gonna sell alcohol outside of the stadium before and after the game. No, during the game, so you cannot drink inside of the stadium. Exactly. Okay. How is about the dressing? How woman, more than nothing, woman should be dressing here in Qatar? Yes. Well, 
as I say, it's a Muslim country, it's a quite conservative country. So dressing is that um, usually it is okay if you dress like a, if you wear a skirt but a mini skirt. That's the point. No mini skirt. Uh -huh. and Not a mini short. You, for the World Cup, I think they want to be a bit more flexible, so you they can... should be a lot more flexible. Yeah, exactly. So if you wear like a skirt just uh, oh, just over your knee, it will be okay. All right? A chair like this, a t-shirt, but not a, you know, not a, like, I would say, sexy yeah, no, way. Yeah, no, like no, not too sexy. Let's say that don't wear nothing too short. Let's say, let's, yeah, okay. let's think about, let's respect the culture and respect the religion. That's the main thing, you know, when you travel, you have to respect the religion and the culture where you are going. That's right. So, basically, is that, um, it will be okay if you dress in a very, mm, a little bit respectful of the culture. Also, during the workout, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not summertime. So, it's going to be a little bit fresh. Uh, and then the best thing you can do, you just bring your own cashmere or something. A cashmere, that's something. Yeah, you can cover up own. in the case you're gonna do, maybe you're in the Subwaki, which is a traditional market. So, yeah, you, because you can be at, one, um, at whatever you like, if you are in a private area, like uh, in your own, if you are staying in a compound, like a, a oh, private the hotel, residence, yeah. in a hotel, it's not Yeah, in the hotel inside, you can wear bikini, whatever you want, but it's more when you go to the street, and the uh, be more area. respectful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Marilla, thank you so much for being here with us. I'm trying to inform the people a little bit how how it's going to be this World Cup 2022. So thank you, and we're going to continue walking around, and I'm gonna show you a little more of Doha. Yes. <laughs> there is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna walk. Me burn, cause baby, I got you, 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 you. It's a new beginning to a better life. It's a dancing underneath the disco lights. They can try, but they can never take me down. Cause I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to love, not afraid to love. People in Qatar, they're very friendly and also this is one of the most safe countries on the world. Also when you are walking here on the market, try to don't film the Qatari women. The Qatari women are the ones that dress on black just because they don't like it and we should respect their, their privacy. amazing building uh, the name is Katara building and it's not finished yet it's, it is in construction so it's gonna be on the future it's gonna be two five-star hotel if you are coming to Qatar I will give you a good advice review all the regulations with immigration they are very strict with the coronavirus vaccine so i have a lot of problems to get into the country but at the end i made it i'm here just for a few hours i'm here for eight hours and then i had to go back to new york 
They give me the permission. I went from one office to another uh, on the airport, but finally they give me the permission to get into the country. They are very strict, so please check the regulation. Qatar is very inexpensive and took an Uber from the airport to the city and it just cost me a US dollar. Uber worked perfectly here so you can take an Uber um, to move around or you also can take the subway or the metro. Also a bottle of water is less than one US dollar. I was asking for the hotel, five star hotel is around $200 per night. Of course, we are not on the World Cup time, I guess, during the World Cup, as we heard before, the prices are gonna go up, but Qatar is not expensive and is very safe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just send me a message on the description below and I'm gonna answer you as soon as possible. A third video of Qatar is coming soon where I'm gonna talk about how is the life of the Qatarian people here in Doha. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any one of these videos.